Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Indeed, Peter Obi is trending, trending for every imaginable matter you can think of. Everybody seems to be speaking on on his issue. Uh, obviously, he's a man right now to be talked about. Some are for, some are against, some are antagonizing, some are criticizing. But in all, you're going to find out all their views. You take your own stand as you speak. Even an an Igbo politician is speaking against Peter Obi. Amazing though how even for northerners seem to be supporting him. In the moment, you're going to find out all these different juicy opinions about him. But before we do that, like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let's start with uh, what uh, one case uh, an influencer is saying. He said a Nigerian social media influencer, Kese, who has given popularity and thousands of followers has 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 shown his opinion and political views released via his social media handle. According to him, he said, I'm hearing that so many youths are declining requests from APC and PDP and volunteering their support for Peter Obi instead. Honestly, the greatest support you can ever wish for is this kind that money can't buy. We move. Wow. Well, then again, another nothing, not, in fact, a strong one at that, Ahmed Shehu is a professor and this is what he has to say about Peter Obi and his organic followers, but this time around he has a warning. A popular Nigerian lecturer, articulate scholar, product of nomadic education, first class degree holder and assistant professor of English and literature at the American University of Nigeria, Yola at Damawa State, Dr. Shehu Ahmed has described the presidential candidate for the Labour Party LP, Mr. Peter Obi, as a good man, but advised him to be careful with his new breed of Igbo dominated followers Followership, adding that the rhetoric going on in his political circle might consume him. I read his post. He said in a quote, Peter is a good man, but I'm shocked at his newly found politics. If care is not taken, Obi is going to be another Ojuku in a different form if he's not careful. This breed of new Igbo dominated followership and the rhetoric going on in it going on in his political circle will consume him well some nigerians have a different opinion and of course none other than joey bokwe his own brother an umbra man for that matter has this to say a chief ten of apc joey bokwe has spoken concerning the chances of peter will be in the 2023 presidential election in nigeria during his interview on tvc 360 the former apc spokesman was reminded that an Igbo man from south is Peter Obi might be on the ballot during the next general election. Reacting to the mention of Peter Obi, Joey Bukwe said there are no structures. Are you even sure if Peter Obi will pick up the ticket? We are talking about two major parties and you're talking about a party that, that is almost non-existent. The party that the party is not even there and the Labour Party does not even have a, a platform or structure across Nigeria. It is a mere waste of time. He continued, Peter Obi is only popular on social media, and voters' cards are not on social media. The voting centers are not on social media either. I clearly understand these things, and I have been a party man for many years. Mm, this is quite deep, and this is what uh, a stronger um, member a strong politician has got to tell Nigerians and to be wary of Peter Obi. And this is what he has to say. Haruna Bauma, the chief of chief executive officer of Torak Nigeria Limited and a social media influencer, released a statement this morning via his social media handle where he expressed his opinion about Peter Obi and his presidential ambition. While speaking about Peter Obi, Haruna Bauma noted that Peter Obi is not in any way different from other politicians. He reminded Nigerians that Peter Obi was once uh, a member of the People's Democratic Party, a, that's PDP, and a running mate to Atiku Abubakar in 2019. He also noted that Peter Obi hasn't done anything different when he was a governor. Haruna said, Obi isn't in any way different from other politicians. He was a running mate of P PDP. Uh, he was a member of PDP and running mate to uh, Atiku Abubakar in 2019. Uh, he didn't do anything different. Wow, well, this is what Nigerians are saying, especially concerning the fact that um, a lot of persons are rejecting the offers of APC and PDP, but are giving free services 
to Peter a bit. Like uh, Joey Bokwe said, though harsh, but the truth is, uh, voting voting don't take place on social media, and uh, votes on social media don't count, at least not in Nigeria. So we gotta be very real. But of course, if they have, see if of course, except they're just playing, trying to be intelligent by half, you will notice that there seems to be a consciousness by Nigerians to get the PVC, the permanent voters card. There seems to be a lot of consciousness about that. And if there is, then that's to tell you also that there seems to be a push to move from social media to the reality on ground. But the question is, are we, are we sure they will not sell these votes? <laughs> on bad in nigeria the truth of the matter is not when it matters the most but then like um amechi will say uh take the money eat their money vote your conscience nobody's going to beat you for eating the money after all it's national money money but please vote for your conscience when the time uh, when the time is right there seems to be pressure also on INEC to do the needful by closing it down but please INEC, nobody should be disenfranchised everybody have the right to own a pvc and to exercise their vote please if there needs to be extension 2023 is still quite a distance please let all nigerians who desire and who want and who is of age to get their pvc is ultimate as of ultimate importance right now in nigeria just like olusha gomba told nigerians and the youth say take back your tomorrow today don't wait for tomorrow tomorrow will never come take your tomorrow today it begins now okay but let's feel the pause of nigerians over this matter this one here is saying i will not send my vote for twenty five thousand dollars that apc pdp delegate so dears my vote worth 100 million life dying in kaduna my vote worth 100 million lives dying in Sokoto, in Jos, in our Catholic uh, church, in Ehiala, in Obibo, in Kano, in Bruno, in Benue, and in South Matters. I'm obedient. Yes, we can. These are Nigerians talking, and they tell you they wake, the wake up call is different. The atmosphere have changed. Nigerians have decided to change the narrative, but the question is are we going to get a free and fair election? That's the question. That's the rude one. And the question also that Beck's answers is, is it going to be devoid of violence? If you are going to be assured of uh, no rigging, no violence, just maybe we can do the Edonobi Lagos thing and bring it to Nigeria. Edonobi, Edonobi the, the Nigeria Nobi Lagos. Hopefully we can re re replicate that. But then that's going to be another talk for another time. Let's feed the pulse of Nigerians. It one or two, and we will wrap this up. This one here is saying. Take their money and vote in accordance to your conscience. God bless you, brother. Let's be, keep speaking this. Hopefully, Nigeria will take a change. I'll probably take a bow from corruption to something much better. It begins today, actually. And it begins with you and I. This one here is saying, only poor-minded persons like Esau, who sold his birthright for a, 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 a meal of porridge, what a loss of blessing he missed. But I also pray that Nigerians also will not miss their tomorrow by selling their today ahead of tomorrow that's we're going to wrap it up who are today a whole lot of them have spoken different opinion about peter will be but then again it looks like he's the one trending because this time around peter will be the enter